talk i'm starting a vlog y'all i'm gonna start doing it at least a few times a week i'll start posting some, posting some new content on my page y'all just tell me a little about myself my my platform media platform and things like that it's just different stuff throughout the day sometimes it's not even gonna be about boxing y'all it's just gonna be conversation about things that's happening what's going on um i like to get my fans involved really y'all if, if I can say you guys are my fans, I don't know. Sometimes I get the love and sometimes I don't, you know. So, you know, it is what it is. So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to uh, start post, posting a daily vlog, y'all. Just to, just to interact with the fans and just to give you guys some insight of what's going on. And also, when I do talk about boxing, I'm going to talk about up and coming events and things like that. I'm not going to get to the 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 negative side of boxing you know what i'm saying some people say well if you can cover boxing you gotta cover both sides of boxing like that but i choose not to cover the negative side of boxing because i'm pretty sure you guys already know the negative side of boxing because you see it on other media platforms so i i don't have to talk about it anymore you guys already know the information so i'm not going to let you hold that over my head saying man you need to cover everything one because this and this and that no i'm just one platform a smaller platform pretty sure you guys know about the larger stuff that's going on anyway so I'm not gonna let you do that to me so um and what also what I mean far as coverage I'm gonna talk about you know current fights that's you know that's on the schedule that's up and coming you know boxing dates and things like that and also the results from those fights Particularly, I'm gonna start. I'm a uh, on my blog and pro and fight talk with Juan Marshall most of the time, you know, and on my social media platforms. That's what I use the most now on social media platforms, mainly on Facebook, you know, and Juan Marshall, and then also uh, Instagram and the pro and fight talk, you know. So um, that's why you'll see me posting, you know, the flight, the flyers, and things like that that have the dates on them, and you know. When the, when the uh, fighters are from the DMV are fighting, you know, guys from Baltimore, all the way to just parts of Richmond, mainly Alexandria, you know, and things like that. So uh, I don't go too far out of that because we talk about the DMV area. That's, you know, it's pretty much around the Beltway, that 495 stretch, you know, parts of outside and mainly inside the Beltway, you know. So if I if you fighting way out. In the Virginia area, you most likely probably won't hit because you're not considered a beltway fighter. You know, you probably fought in the beltway. You know what I'm saying? So when you're fighting in the beltway, of course we hear about you. But if you're fighting way beyond the beltway, or if you if you're from that area, and you're putting on fights, you probably won't hear from me. But uh, you might hear some traffic coming through because I'm on my front porch, y'all. Yeah, the guys be getting it coming around the corners and things like that. So, um, yeah, basically, I'm, I'm going to start posting these vlogs and uh, just talk about different things, you know, mainly boxing, you know, because that's what the platform is, you know what I'm saying? So, I don't want to get into, uh, what you call that? I want I want to keep things on the rep just to let you guys know who I am, you know, and one of the main reasons I wanted to come on here is also, and start this vlog is also to come in to tell the difference from who I was before and who I am now. And uh, who I was before, it was, a, you know, leading up to this point, I was a guy, I was grinding and pounding, you know, grounding and pounding out the, uh, the, 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 the pavement out there when I was covering fights, you know, going to the gyms. You know, a lot of these guys 10 years ago, they were little kids and they wasn't on the level they are now, you know what I mean? Or they were teenagers. You know, and, and just starting out fight. They were still in high school and things like that. They went on in college and whatever they chose to do and fight. But some of them didn't choose college. They chose boxing. So it's it's a lot of different things that happen in between the time from now, back then to now. And back then, I mean, from like 2009 when I actually came on the scene up until this point. But uh, 
But before 2009, I was a guy, I was behind the scenes. People didn't see me, people didn't hear me. They, I just, I just basically saw them and, 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 and went off of what I saw and how the, the community was growing as far as boxing and things like that. So uh, when I started, you know, with my boxing platform, I started off as a photographer. I, sometimes I would mention that before to people and I was going to the fights, you know, sometimes ringside, sometimes not ringside, you know, based on myself building a, a popularity for myself and building, you know, relationships and things like that in the sport locally in the sport and um you know it, it was something hard you know from getting turned down to come to fights and things like that you know it, it was a process you know and and I, I i i paved my way you know through through the process you know and um which everybody does you know what i mean so uh and in that process i made good relationships with people and I, one of the best relationships I made, you know, starting off is when I met Gary Digital Williams, you know, and a lot of people, you know, when they see me now, they uh, they expecting to see Gary all the time. And that's because of the process, you know, the, the, the fact that when I approached him back in 2000, I think I want to say late 2009, early 2010 or late 2010 coming into 2011. You know, I approached him back when I was doing photography. He already had boxing on the Beltway blog going on. And uh, I approached him and, you know, when I watched boxing, when I was looking at the boxing on the Beltway uh, blog site, it was all writing, basically, you know, and, and, and good. It was good writing, good information, everything, you know, it's current up to date information that was going on around the Beltway boxing area. But when I saw it and I, I started brainstorming and I was like, man, I do photography, Gary does writing. So when I approached him, I was like, Gary, you know, I would love to come join with you and combine with you our information so we can, you know, work together. And I'm also trying to create my own blog. I don't know the name of it yet, but I'm trying to create my own blog. And then, so when I came up with my own blog, it was Pro and Fight Talk. I approached him with it. He was like, that's great. So I said, Gary, can I add my photos to your writing to so people and boxing fans can get an actual visual of the stuff that you're writing? He was like, that's a great idea. Let's let's do it. So we started working together. Next thing you know, people start seeing us at the shows together. We start covering the shows together. He wrote, I wrote on mine. And most of the time it was the same stuff because we were covering the same fight. You know, but Gary's the writer. I'm not the writer. You know what I put up there. Of course, you gonna sorry see, you might see some mistakes. You know, you well, you are you probably see some mistakes, but I wasn't about the mistakes. I was just about letting people know what happened, and that was the biggest thing. You know, you know, some people are critical on you. They like to just because people like to criticize you just because you know. And and I was getting a lot of that back then. Oh, he spelled misspelled this word. Oh, he misspelled that word. Yeah, okay. Uh, yeah, I did. But you understand the concept of what I'm trying to get. So, the more and more I, you know, I got better. That's the more I did it. It got better. It got a little bit better. It got a little bit better. I'm still not an expert at it, but what I put on there and people understand what I'm putting on there. So, and also. Gary and I weren't getting paid for what we do. We did it because we love it. We do it because we love it, you know. You know, right now he's in a different stage at this point in time in 2023 because, like I said, during that time back then, we were always gone away from our families and things like that. But now we got a better perspective of what comes first, you know, family first, health first. And, uh, and that's where we are with it, you know, so... With saying that, Gary and I, you know, we're still around, but you know, I'm 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 holding the fort down right now because Gary's, you know, doing some things with his family, like I said, and also I'm I'm doing things with my family too. So I'm not doing as much coverage out there on the scene, as far as being at the fights and things like that. But I am, you know, since everybody's on social media, I am posting stuff on social media, still with the current dates and fight opportunities fighters have coming up you know now 
developed, you know, some world champions in the DMV area, you know, throughout from 2010 all the way up to, to the present year, we have champions now, you know, we had champions in the past, you know, consistently back then in the, in the, the later 90s, you know, and we, uh, you know, the DMV area is, is known for boxing back then. They know for boxing now. You know, we can mention name, you know, when people start talking boxing, they can talk about the DMV area, you know, along with Philly, California, Las Vegas, and things like that, New York. So, you know, the the, the game has, you know, they, they, these guys in the, the area have put themselves in the mix, you know, with the fights and the fight other fighters that are doing great, you know, televised, you know. So the guys are definitely getting recognized in the DMV area for a, a boxing uh, area so that's what that's what i'm proud about and that's why i started pro and fight talk i wanted to to showcase the talent that we have in this area and everybody you know was and then when i comment about what's going on in the boxing area some people say well one that happens everywhere man and you just dmv and i'm talking about the dmv area because i live here and it's the area i cover I'm not worried about what's going on in Philly. I'm not worried about what's going on in California, New York, or Nevada. I'm not worried about that. I'm worried about what's going on here. I talk about what's going on here. And if, yeah, it happens everywhere, but my focus is here. So stop telling me, man, it happens everywhere. Well, I know it happens everywhere. So say your breath. So, um, um, you know, you have to, and you have to have a, a thick skin. My skin had to get developed to be leather, you know, when it comes to the sport of boxing, you know, because people going to not like you. I'm going to have to shake hands with people that don't like me. You know, it's tough, but I do it because it's not about me. It's about covering the fighters and let them have the platform. They let them have my platform so they can showcase themselves. That's what it's all about. You know, I learned that. I gain more by staying consistent. I don't let I don't let dislike, you know, veer me off my path that I'm going. You know what I'm saying, and and things like that. And also, I learned to separate and know what's a good relationship in boxing and what is just boxing. You know what I'm saying. So when people call me, <coughs> excuse me. So when people call me, they just talk about boxing. I know what type of person they are. They're just a person I know from boxing. When people call me and say, man, Juan, how you doing? How your wife? How your kids? What's been up? Then I know it's more than just a boxing relationship. You know what I'm saying? That's a person that can, when I have a cookout, I can invite you to the cookout. You know, if, I have a, a, if I'm having a fight and I can invite you over to watch the fight with me. Things like that. Because I have... Some of the relationships I do, I develop them beyond that. And those are relationships that I like. You want to talk to me about boxing all the time? Um, you know, once in a while I'm good with it. Yeah, once in a while I'm good with it. Don't get me wrong. I, I, I accept phone calls when you talk about boxing, yeah. But I don't want all my phone calls to be about boxing. You know, so that's where I am with it, man, so... So I'm gonna be doing these vlogs, man. I'm gonna, like I tell you, all of them not gonna be about boxing. It's a lot of them gonna be about a typical day, what I'm doing. Oh yeah, let me up, update you. So the reason I haven't been coming to fights, the last fight I want to say it was either sometime in February because in March I had a, a surgery. 2019 was my first one I had, and that was on my my knee. I had on 2019, January 2019, I had. A partial re knee replacement on my left knee and in 2023 early this year in March I had a full replacement on my right knee like I said you're gonna hear traffic in the background cuz I'm on my front porch y'all so like I said in January uh, January 19 I had a left a partial left knee replacement 2023 which is this year in March recently few months ago I had a full knee replacement you know so I'm in recovery stages y'all and I'm focused on myself more than I'm focused on boxing yes I do because of the consistency it's it's, it's just a uh, uh, just a habit for me now to to post 
you know, what's going on in neighbor. That's because I've always been doing. That's why it's always when you're consistent, things come natural to you. So I'm cons I was consistent in posting fights before my surgeries, and I'm consistent with posting fights after my surgery. You know, I can do that from home right here on my phone. I can do it. So everything, most of the time, everything I post is from my phone, y'all. So it's, it's very convenient for me. So I try to keep, still maintain the posture of keeping the fans updated about the fights that's going on, keeping the fighters' names out there to let them know that I do su still support them and, and, you know, the promotions that they fight on. I, you know, promote that as far as being on there. And you don't have to bombard me with all the information consistently every time because you sent it to me once. And if the only time I really appreciate it is when the, when the information changes. And, you, you know, when the information changes, please send it to me. But if the information is still the same, you don't have to send it to me no more, you know, because it's still the same. I ain't going to post the same stuff all the time. So, like I said, just keep me updated. You know, I got my email address out there or you can inbox me on, you know, social media play pages, which the most popular ones is the, the, the Facebook and Instagram most of the time where, where people are posting things at. And that's where I post the stuff most of the time anyway. And I'll put more of the highlighted stuff. I, I actually post it on my blog, proamfighttalk.blogspot.com. I post it on there. And uh, that's some of the times, a lot of times, I, I, I post uh, 95%. No, I won't say 90% of the time I post uh, DMV, you know, the Beltway Boxing Area Fight stuff, and information that's going on. And the other 10% of the time, I post the, the worldwide stuff like the, like currently now, and it's, it's going to be Earl Spence Jr. against uh, Terrence Crawford. I post stuff like that because, you know, I get emailed the information, you know, updated information about those high, you know, high profile cards and things like that. So, and also Javante Davis, you know, our local guy and, and that's, you know, world champion and also Franchon Cruz, world champion, you know, those two fighters right there, they're, they're standouts, you know, beyond the DMV. So they're worldwide champions. So that's what I post. And um, and, and, and that's it, y'all. So like I said, if, if you got any uh, updated information about your cards coming up, promoters, I'm talking to you, uh, just just inbox me or e e email me at uh, proamfighttalk.com at yahoo.com that's my email so just keep emailing me that information and if i don't show up at your cards i just gave you a reason why y'all i just coming off surgery i'm not gonna do too much walking around and things like that so when i get to the healing stages where i can not be able to use a cane or or be limping around then you'll see me you know but other than that i'll still be posting consistently about the results from your cards and things like that or the information leading up to your card so that's me and like now i'm a uh let you know again that I'm gonna try to do this, you know, weekly vlog, you know, to put information out there about myself, basically. Let you know who Juan Marshall is and what I've been doing and things like that. So I'm just, you know, I appreciate all the support from uh, everyone, you know, inside and outside the DMV. You know, I, I built relationships because over the years, I put some, you know, put some work in, you know, and you develop relationships when you put the work in and time in. So that's what I've done. And um, I try to keep it consistent. And my main priority is to get you guys, the boxing fans, the up and coming events and the results from the events, y'all. And I just keep it plain and simple. That's it. All right. So hopefully next time you'll see either something about boxing or you might see something different, but you'll still see me, Juan Marshall, trying to keep things consistent. And I appreciate everything that you're doing. And this is uh, vlog one, you know, series one, episode one. Thanks.